Hi everybody, welcome back to Dusty Coloring. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today's video is my coloring plan video. So if you're not familiar with these videos, pretty much it's just, I'm gonna show you a bunch of books um, that I would like to color in for the month of June, uh, 2024. And I'm gonna select some pages and then um, when I do my complete, completed page video at the end of the month, we see if, um, or I see, if I colored in the book, if I colored the page, or if I chose the book but felt a different page. So let's, I had to stop doing these videos, but uh, people seemed to like them, so, and had requested them, so I decided to continue doing them now again for 2024. So let's get started. Okay, so um, this, for June, I've decided I want to um, color more in some untouched books, so I pulled out a lot of untouched books off my shelves, along with a lot, along with my usual project books that I've been coloring in for 2024. I am trying to keep track of how many untouched books I color in. So I thought maybe for June, I would just try and hit uh, more of those. So one of the first books that um, I selected off my shelf was Rita Berman's um, Mein Reis uh, Dersh Asian. And the reason I selected this one was because I do have all her books. But I never color in them, and I decided that I wanted to try and color in um, this book. So I was looking through it. Um, I had started this when I first got the book, but um, I didn't finish it. You know, I was just playing around. Sometimes I just open a book and I start coloring a page just to see um, how the paper performs for me and with what I use. Um, so I chose one uh, this page so this page kind of called out to me when I was looking through the book earlier and I'm thinking I would like to color this page um, for some reason I'm kind of in the mood to color some summery kind of photos with flowers and stuff I don't usually do that but I'm just rolling with it <laughs> but so we'll see if it carries through for June but I thought maybe this page because I thought it was kind of cute and I even thought this page was really cute as well but um, this is the page that called to me so I'm going to uh, mark off that page um, for June. I got these little um, tags off Timu, so they're kind of really inexpensive. And for the way I go through them, you know, it's better to have them cheapies. But yeah, so decided to um, try and see if we can get this page colored. And I don't know, I've been using a lot of different mediums as well. I've been really focusing on my supplies. Um, I'm trying to use different supplies that I have. So in the books that I are my project books and that I really want to kind of, you know, tackle, I'm going with the mediums that I'm familiar with, like my Prismacolor pencils really and stuff like that, like my Ohuhu markers. But for these other books, I'm branching out and I'm using different things. And um, I tried it for May and it went well and it went not well. So, you know, it's a learning curve for myself, but I do have a lot of supplies and I just want to start using them. So yeah, I might try um, either a different pencil or maybe some gel pens, um, maybe some Tombos. I don't know. I'll play around and see, but yeah. So that's a different book for me to put on my list for June. Um, then I really want to color in a Molly Harrison book. And this was one of my goals at the beginning of the year. And then I only colored like one page. Um, I did end up coloring a page in May. I didn't add it into my completed page video because I didn't really love the way it come, came out. Um, it is in the Enchanted Fairy uh, book, and this is a grayscale book, and this is really the only grayscale book I have for Molly Harrison. Her grayscale is a little dark, even for me, um, but I figured I would just go in with some marker, and I started to do this page, uh, and I do like the way it was coming out. It was really just minimal pencil um, shading over the marker, but I really don't wanna do anything with the background because I don't wanna go over with my markers. My markers are kind of, I don't know, um, my Ohu brush tip markers are very old now and they're kind of drying up. And I don't want to waste them on this. So I, I decided to just bow out of this page, but I might go back to it. Maybe I'll try something else in the background like distressed ink or pastels, I don't know. But for now, I'm just gonna leave this as is. So I'm not really gonna plan to color in this particular one for June, but it is always on the back burner if I don't feel like doing a real color page and I just want to 
something just to keep you busy for like a couple hours or an hour so we'll see um but i do want to try and color in fairyland in june um and i don't know i feel like uh, i could do i don't know something in here um it is appealing to me just what i end up actually doing i don't know so this is probably going to be a maybe book for myself. This page I had selected at some other point and I never got to color it. So maybe I'll go to that one or maybe I'll just select something like this. I don't know. Um, I do want to try and color in this book. So I, I'm not going to really select a page because it's probably going to be another one of those back burner books. Um, so it'll just go with whatever mood I'm feeling that day um, and how much time I really have to color when that mood arises. Um, that will determine if I go in with alcohol markers, which will then determine the page or if I do ink background. So, but that I'm putting on my list, but more of a back burner kind of book. Um, this is a book that I do love and I was coloring it in the beginning of the year and then for the past month or two I stopped. This is Cat 22 by Sugar Sweet and I really do like this book. It's one of my books to complete eventually. Um, they're very sweet little images. Um, I do like how my pencils perform in this book, my Prismacolor pencils. I have colored a couple pages. I think February was the last time I actually colored in this book. That was for, I did that because it had hearts for like Valentine's Day. So I would like to throw this book back into my rotation for June. But n there isn't a specific page that is calling out to me at the moment. Maybe I'll, I'm going to flag Malcolm because like I said, I'm in the mood for like flowery kind of things. And, uh, and like I said, that's not usually what I do. So I'm rolling with it. So I'm going to flag Malcolm. Um, but whether or not I actually color Malcolm, I'm not sure, but we'll see. But yeah, right this second, I'm feeling Malcolm. So, and let me show you guys the name. This is the name. Um, I did get this off Amazon. It is a little hard to search for her, um, search for, but this is the book and there are other versions too, but I'm going to finish this one before I purchase the other one. I actually purchased, I'm um, purchased put some of her other books on my wish list so when the holidays roll around um, maybe I'll grab another one for the next year but we'll see but for this year I'm just going to tackle this one I had pulled this uh, book out this is cute and magical by Alexander Franzis and I had pulled this out to color in for uh, May and I never did and I had colored a page or two in here I had colored this page in the past um, I thought there was another one. I had colored this page in the past. And I like this book. It's for quick colorings. I have a whip going in here that I never finished. Um, this was the page I wanted to think maybe I would finish for May and I never did. But I do want to just leave this book out f um, for those nights where I just want a quick alcohol marker relaxing coloring. Um, perhaps I'll do this. So I'm not going to pick a page in here only because again, it'll depend on my mood when I pick up the book to color on that night or that day. And then we'll see which one I color. Um, yeah, I had selected this one maybe for May and I never got to it. So I'm going to put it on my rotation for June. It's a very cute book. I really like this book, and I'm surprised I haven't colored in it more often. But that is definitely going to be on a rotation. Um, there's a whip in Dark Fantasy by Jade Summer. This is a newer release, and it's more like um, the creepy, gory, Halloween-y kind of images. But I had started a page in here. I had started The Plague Doctor two or three months ago, and I never finished it. And I do want to get this done. Really, all I really have left to do is I just want to put some glitter maybe Wink Estella or something in the um, green cloud smoke. And it's really so minimal. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. And that is my plan. And maybe go over some lines with some uh, paint pen just to brighten it up. But I really want to get it over and done with. And I'm going to be doing that in June or maybe even finishing it before June, but it would be, you know, 
counted for June. But yeah, I do like this book. There were other pages in here that I wanted to do. This is kind of my style. Um, I do love books like this and I really love the grayscale in here. I think it's kind of just perfect. And I've really been eyeing the alien for a while and I just haven't gotten to her. But I refuse to color her until I finish that stupid smoke. Um, so yeah, so that's Dark Fantasy by Jade Summer. Just trying to make a neat pile. Um, there's another whip I have that I would like to complete in June. It is in Spirit Animals by Hannah Carlson. And I decided um, when the year rolled around, one of my goals was to color in her books. And I had purchased or I had requested seasons for the holiday season I got as a gift. And I was going to follow um, Jen because she does a lot of these coloring. If, her, if I don't put the her name up on the screen it'll be in the description box she does a lot of um color alongs to hannah crawls and i was going to follow along and she was on track to complete season so i had purchased that but i decided i wanted to color in spirit animals instead and take inspiration from what she does and try and apply it into this book so um she does use a lot of watercolor background um or neo color so i have picked a palette from the color cube which i no longer have the color cube um i actually gifted it to my friend and i had purchased the color companion and printed them out instead so it's more than a, a pdf version and i just flipped through a book and i feel like i could see all the all the palettes better than the color cube but um i need to give this back this to my friend so she could put it in the collection but these were kind of the colors that i was going off of and i had started this page here and I do like the way it's coming out. I just need to finish. It just was getting a little tedious with all the feathers. And that's why I kind of stopped and didn't go back to it. But I would like to continue and finish this, this page off. So that's one of my um, projects for June is to just finish up this whip. And that's just Prismacolors and Neocolor 2 background. And that's in Spirit Animals by Hannah Carlson. I would like to color in Matchstick Mouse, the newer book, The Big Adventure Coloring Book by Morgan O'Brien. And I had selected a page in here to color in a previous month and I never got to it. I was gonna color this for May. I figured it was like sea life, but I was kind of ocean and mermaid out in May. So I am going to remove this. And um, let's see if any pages in this book call out to me. This is a very cute book. This is one of his newest ones. And I do love his images. They're just so sweet and just they're fun. And they're relaxing and they're tiny and they're bordered. It's just perfect. And I don't color in them as much as I would like. So, so far I'm looking and I'm thinking Either the um, pyramid page we just passed in Egypt or one of the Italy pages um, with either the Leaning Tower of Pisa or the Colosseum. That's cute. Or maybe this one. Isn't that a hot air balloon? <laughs> That's cute. All right, so. Alrighty, I am decided I want to, this is the one that's calling out to me the most, is the hot air balloon page. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to see if I can, if I end up coloring this one or do a different page, but I would definitely want to color in Matchstick Mouse, The Big Adventure Coloring Book by Morgan O'Brien. And again, is that it's one of his newer ones. So I definitely want to get to that. Um, here is uh, a book that it was a sleeper on my shelf. I had it for a while. I colored a page in it, I believe in April. I had a blast. Um, and I want, I had selected a page for May and I never really got to it. And then I was talking to Christina from Christina's Art Corner. And we usually do a buddy color each month or try to. And we uh, decided, well, let's do a buddy color in this book um, because she wanted to color in it in April and she didn't get around to it. I mean, in May, she didn't get around to it and I didn't get around to it. So. I asked her to select a page and now I just have to see. It's a little hard to get in frame. It's a long book, but it's a really cute book. 
So I just want to see if I can find the page that we picked. It's just hard for me to get it all into frame. So I'm just going to flip it like this. I'm also trying to go by memory of what she, I let her pick the page because I love them all and I can't decide. Um, I'm trying to see if I remember it by memory um, because it's on my phone and I don't have my phone right now because I'm recording on my phone. I believe this was the page we picked or she picked and I'm very happy with. So yes, this was the one. So this is gonna be the page we're going to color in June. I'm very excited because I really like this book and I'm glad now I have someone to color with in it and that'll push me to color in uh, June. And this is the book, Coloring with Your Octopus by Brian Kessinger. It's a really great book. It's just very long, so it's hard to get into frame. But I do love that book. Okay, what is up next on my book? Okay, so I uh, want to color in Gabby Wolf's books more. That was another one of my goals, and I just, unfortunately, I am not a fan of the paper. Um, you know, Amazon printed books is hit and miss. Some books perform better than others. I don't really know why, uh, but I'm not having any luck coloring in her books. I've bowed out of full book color alongs that were going on. Um, and it's a shame because I really love them. I love the images. They make me smile, but it's just, so there's a light version and then there's like a darker version of her book. So it's doubles, but one's light, one's dark. Um, so I selected this page cause I just, I liked it. It was very summery. It had like the beach and the hot house, like a little, I don't know, cafe shop. I don't know. It just reminded me gave me kind of vacation vibes and I'm not going away this year. So I was like, ah, oh, all right. So, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to maybe practice a little, couple mediums on the lighter color. Cause I, I don't really like the lighter color. Um, and then try something different here, whether it, I mean, they're single sided, so you can use like alcohol markers and stuff like that. Um, I just don't know what, where, how I'm going to tackle it or if I'm going to end up printing it out on my own paper, making a copy on my own paper. I really have to think about it, um, find a medium that works for me in these books because I don't want to be ripping out all my pages in my Amazon printed books. It just gets annoying. Um, some books I'm okay with doing that. But other books, if it's going to just start, start getting random, it's just going to get sloppy. So I'm going to go through my supplies. I'm going to see what I have going on. And I'm going to try some new supplies in this book and see how where it takes me. But this is the page I selected. And I'm hoping to get to this page. And this is in uh, Mini Mania 3. She came out with 4, but I'm, I'm going to try 3. Let's try something in 3. A little something. something. All right. Uh, I pulled all off my shelf. I'm lost and found by RJ Hampson. This is the hard copy one. Um, I have the soft one too, but I did buy one or two of his books in hard copy just to see um, the difference in which one I fancied. So I selected this Wizard of Oz page to color. Now, I don't know if I'm going to actually color this page. I did select it. It did call out to me when I pulled the book off my shelf. Today it's not calling out to me and that's what happens. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but I'm going to say for now, yes, I'm going to leave the Wizard of Oz page and see if I get to it again. Um, this paper is much better. I think I, did I color a page in here already? I thought I did. No, I started doing a background. Okay, so I didn't. I have colored in one of his other books, hardcover books that I have, and the paper is a little marginally better. Um, but I don't know. I might try some other things in here as well, maybe some gel pens. I don't know. We'll see. So, But this um, is the page that I selected so far, and this is the Wizard of Oz page. And again, I apologize if there's a glare or a shadow. Um, again, I'm using natural light. It is going to be a very hot day today and my house kind of heats up. 
um, even though I have the air conditioning on and got issues with the attic, we have to tend to. Uh, so I'm trying to keep the lighting off. <laughs> and I have one window, one shade open for some natural light, but I'm trying to keep my house cool. So it has a far way to heat up, you know, a farther way that it has to heat up to than when it gets to its hottest point. So we'll see if it works today, but yeah. So anyway, RJ Hampson, Lost and Found, Wizard of Oz page. We'll see if I get to that. <clears throat> All right, so here's some books now. Well, not some books, because I'm showing you some books, but some books that I have not colored in that I pulled off my shelf. So we're going to start with Mythographic Magical Earth. I absolutely hate using my Prisma colors in these books. An alcohol marker is working, but not as well as I would like it to be because the small details and the alcohol marker bleeds. So I've been going in with some finer tip alcohol markers. I'm going to try some water-based markers next, uh, gel pens. I'm determined to find my groove in these books because I love them. So I decided I'm going to pull Magical Earth off my shelf. I haven't really colored in this one yet. This is by Joseph Cattenbang. And as you can see, I flagged a bunch of pages. And I'm going to show you the ones that I flagged. Um, this was one of them. So this is one that called out to me. This one called out to me as well. But it's a little bit more detailed. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to... You know how I feel when I get to this book to color it if I'm going to be sticking with detailed or if I'm going to want something a little less uh, detailed I'm gonna drop something I wanna make some room okay so I could open these books better um, this one even though it's fish and I'm kind of like I said kind of I don't know done with oceans and stuff maybe sorry for that shadow and then the last oh two pages this one which i thought was really cute is the hookah caterpillar <laughs> so i don't know that one kind of called out to me but again it's it, it's a lot of leaves and i'm kind of a little getting a little tired of coloring leaves but we'll see and then the last one that called out to me was this page here So I definitely would like to get a page down in this book. I just need to go through my supplies, find some things, and play a little bit. So here's one of my untouched books that I really want to get to in June, and this is Mythographic Magical Earth. Um, okay, so let me put my untouched books to a different pile, because they're going to take priority over my other books. I pulled this one off my shelf, um, Gnomes in the Neighborhood. Now, I purchased um, Denise uh, Klett's books earlier on in my coloring uh, journey, and I just didn't really care for coloring in them. But I see she's coming out with a goblin one, and I think it was goblins, and it looks adorable, and I, I'm hoping I love it as much as I, I, I want to love it. But I thought well you know let me pull off a, one of her books I have this one and I have mer the mermaid one I think um yeah so I decided let me grab the gnomes one off my shelf and let me maybe I'll color a page in here just to get an untouched book colored so I looked at this page this is a book page so I thought maybe I'll do the book page Or this page here, I already thought maybe I'd put, use my cloud stencil for the background. And it's like a summary page to giving the dog a bath. And it's really cute. I thought maybe I could use my gel pens. And, you know, so I thought maybe this. And the paper in here is quite well, good. And it is, you know, single-sided. Or maybe the rainy day page. I thought this was kind of really cute too. Uh, so yeah, I selected three pages. And we'll see which one fits my mood when I get to the book. But yeah, I... This is an untouched book for me, and I want to try and get a uh, page colored in here. Again, this is Gnomes in the Neighborhood Neighborhood by Denise Clay. Um, another book, Untouched. This one um, is by Mystic Art Mirrors, and this was purchased off of her Etsy shop. 
And this is the Candy and Cream Coloring Book. Now, I'm not really a fan of some of her images, um, the faces, like, in this book, it's just like a head and hair and like various things. But there were a couple of pages in here that called out to me. So this page called out to me. I thought that maybe, you know, it would be fun to give her a wacky color hair and match up the desserts, you know, with it. Maybe use a color cube uh, palette for this one. Paper in here is fantastic. Um, then there's the bubblegum girl, the candy machine. And I was thinking like glittery gel pen for the bubblegums or the candy, you know, and the bubbles. So this one um, called out to me with some possibilities. And then there's this one, which is just more straightforward, but I figured I could give her funky color hair. And again, you know, it's not a terrible background. It's not too much detail. So I selected this one. So we'll see. Um, I'm not a fan of like the head and the cupcakes and stuff like that. And I'm not a fan of the overall girls in this book, though I do like Mystic Art Mirrors. I have a couple other of her books, um, but I thought this is untouched. It's ice creamy, it's hot out, you know. So I thought I would give it a try. And this is Candy and Cream. Again, this is by Mystic Art Mirrors. And you can find her on Etsy under Mystic Art Mirrors. You can purchase her book. I, I, she might have PDF versions, but I purchased her book. So let's try and see if I can get a page in there colored. Um, in May, if you watch my completed page video, you'll saw that I pulled off my Jasmine Beckett Griffith Mermaids coloring book, which was untouched. And I really had a good time coloring in the book. Um, even though there's a lot of stuff about her books I don't, I'm not crazy about, she leaves a lot of um, negative space in elements and in backgrounds. And you know, you, you as a colorist can like, have to create like shadows and this and that and I'm not really keen on doing that because I'm not really great at it um, sometimes I just like to follow a plan when I color but there are some images that I do like so because I had a good time coloring the mermaid I colored I decided to pull off this the Jasmine Beckett Griffith coloring book fantasy art adventure and I have not colored in this book and I've selected some pages that kind of called out to me there was um, this butterfly page it's called Lily now she does there she is a painter so maybe that is why these aren't as detailed for coloring because when you paint you kind of add your you know shadows and stuff into everything um so i i get why this may be like this but for me to color i'm not keen on it so so but she does have a painting so if you can find the painting you can get color or an idea or inspiration um, I selected this one. This is the Tiki page, and this one called out to me the most, basically because there's not a hell of a lot of background for me to worry about filling in. And I am familiar enough with certain elements on this page to add shadows and stuff. So this one is like the forerunner. Did I pass off a bunch of pages? I did. All right, let me start over. Okay. So there was this page, the pirate girl. Pretty pirate Polly, she's called. So this one called out to me a little bit, but I have to see if I'm in the mood to do the water. Um, this is another one, Captain Molly Morgan. This one was kind of something that caught my eye. Then this one, Sun Child and Moon Child. You know, I had ideas of making one like a darker color, one like a brighter color. I know I had like ideas for this so I selected this to see if I decide I want to color this one it depends on how adventurous I am then this is the one I just showed you guys the tiki page and that's it those were the pages that I um, chose that called out to me there are a lot of other pages in here that I really like but I'm trying to just some Halloween pages and she has a Halloween book as well that I have that I'm saving for you know the season but there's a lot of pages in here that are interesting me but I want to try the simpler ones where I have more vision for so that I'm not disgusted with it and put it away and never look at it again so this is the Jasmine Beckett Griffith um, fantasy art adventure coloring book and I got this off of Amazon totally untouched a book for me um, I forgot to show this in my completed page video but I did, and forgot to mention, I purchased the new Nice Little Town book by Tatiana Bogamas Delova. I believe it's 15 and it's space themed. And I had, I bought the PDF version off of her website. 
uh, her Etsy shop and I printed out this page here and I started to color it but um, I didn't have any attention to finish it I went in with uh, both marker and pencil for this I boarded it with washi tape so I really just have to do the tree and then add any little elements that I want I have to do the windows and whatnot but for the most part this is done uh, I'll have to finish that bit of tree So, you know, I went in with gel pen. I don't know if you can see, um, but the leaves are, um, the leaves in the tree, they're all glitter gel pen. They're two or three shades of glitter gel pen greens. And I did the same with these flowers here. They're gel pen. Some are glitter, some are just neon. The rest is Prismacolor pencil over alcohol marker, just some regular, because it's on my own paper, so I didn't have to do everything in alcohol marker, but the spaces that I just didn't feel like taking time with so I need to finish this, maybe go over the leaves with like a paint pen. So we'll see if I get to it. But I had also pulled off this, uh, printed out this page. And I thought maybe this would be another one for me to get to. Um, it is an interesting book. It is not, I do not love it as much as I thought I was going to like it because of the theme, like alien theme. I thought her alien version would be kind of cute. Um, I'm not a lover of all the images in the book. Um, I do like some of her nice little town books way better than this one. But I am going to, you know, try and finish up this one in June and maybe hit this one. And I'm sure she has the actual book version available on Amazon if you guys are more inclined to purchase the book than a PDF. And now these are just my normal books that I try and color in um, once a month, except for this one. So I colored in Island Cuties by Joshua Dunbar in May for Mermaid. And I ended up doing two pages. So what happened was that when I was looking at my coloring journal, I had a page in planned and unplanned. And I was like, wait a minute, I thought I planned to color a page. I did plan to color a page, but I ended up coloring two and that was not in the plan. So I had a planned and unplanned page for May. But these books are very fun and easy to color in for just a quick alcohol marker coloring. And again, these are the kind of things I save for those nights when I'm tired after working, when I go into the office, because I do have a hella commute ahead of me going in and back. Um, and sometimes I just want to unwind. So I'm going to leave this out. I'm not picking a page. It's not something I really want to color in, but I'm going to put it on the back burner just in case I have one of those nights and I just want something quick and easy to color in. I'm going to do Island Cuties because it is the summertime rolling around and the images just kind of, they're just comforting me in that sense. So leave that out. Magic Jars is a full book color along hosted by Christina from Christina's Art Corner. And I believe uh, Megan from Disney Megs is doing another version. Um, Christina from Christina's Art Corner and I had discussed like how much we thought this book was cute. Only we and her too because her color, her color along, full book color along, didn't realize that Magic Jars, the Coloring Heaven pocket size was actually the same as the Coloring Book Cafe one that other color alongs like Disney Meg would, were doing. Um, so if you have either, I believe you can participate in either of their color alongs. Um, the pages most likely will be different that they're picking. So, you know, which is fun too, but I'm waiting for, uh, Christina to post her June page. I think she puts a poll up or she just picks it, whatever floats her boat that month, which is fine by me. Cause I just need some direction. Just tell me what page to color in here and I will try and get it done because I am trying to complete this book. Um, not for 2024, but eventually. And um, I had colored this page. And this page. And then for May, this page was picked by Christina. And in April, she picked a page and I hadn't colored it in April. So in May, I was able to catch up. So I'm hoping I am able to color June's page. So once that's selected, I will color in this book, hopefully. I'm Country Chibi's coloring book. I have this out because um, if you watch my completing page video, you know that I tried to do a color along and my phone stopped recording and never worked out. And basically um, it was requested marker coloring um, and how I use alcohol markers and how I color over them. And um, I'm gonna try and redo that video. So I don't know what page I'm going to pick. 
Uh, so that should be something, but I will try and get that video up at some time in June. And I picked country chibis because it looks like a lot of outdoor activities and, you know, in the sun and summery and stuff like that. So I thought that would be fun. So I'm going to put this back into the rotation and cross my fingers that it works out this time. And this is um, Country Chibis by Alexander Franzis. A project book for myself is Erie's new book, World Literature. And I'm trying to complete this book eventually. Um, I'm doing a page a month for now. Uh, and I'm pretty good with where I'm going with it. It's just a matter of what I feel like coloring. So let's look through it um, and see what page I want to color. So believe it or not, this crazy page is calling out to me right now. Um, but we're going to pick two because right now it's calling out to me. But that does not mean when I go to color in this book in June, I'm going to want to color that page. So let's pick a backup page. If there's anything else calling to me. Let me see. The Velveteen Rabbit. Well, that is sweet. I don't know. Well, I'm kind of fish and oceaned out with, except for what I've already picked. Um, no, I don't feel like doing that. You're just going to hear me hemming and hawing right now as I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Don't feel like coloring rooftops. Did I seal this page? I did not seal this page. Hold on, I have to smell it. No, I don't think I sealed it. And I'm getting a lot of rub off. Oh, shucks. All right, I need to seal this page. All right. Um, yeah, sorry for the shadow, if there is one. And it's hard for me to get everything in frame. I'm on a small table today, and I got my stack of books and my other stack of books. It's just, it's a, a disaster around me at the moment. <laughs> This page is calling out to me actually too. So I'm going to flag this page as well as my backup. So we'll see which one I actually end up doing. I have not, it is not uncommon um, that I might do two because I've, uh, I've already done two pages a month in this book here and there. Um, so I might actually do two, we shall see. Uh, some pages I'm finding are blending better than others. I know it's gotta just be my hand that day because I'm using the same mediums, um, but we'll see. Last month didn't go so well with my blending in this book. I had a couple mishaps, but I'm going to try to avoid that this month coming up. Yeah, all right, so those are the books and I'm not gonna confuse myself or my the issue and we're gonna leave it at that. So that are the, those are the two pages. Again, I'll show it to you just because I was maybe off. Uh -huh frame this one as a backup page and this is the one that was calling out to me at the moment is the this wild cat house and we'll see what I end up coming it will be a surprise for even myself to be honest <laughs> all right next up is one book I'm so excited about it is Mythomorphia by uh, Kirby Rosane. Now, hang on one second. There's something I just need to get. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to pause it because then it messes up my edit. All right. Sorry. I know. I could have paused it, but I just didn't want to. All right. So, um, here's the thing. I'm trying to finish this book eventually, but now I'm trying to speed up my process because Next year, he's releasing Dark Fantasies, and I'm going to be coloring a page in that book. I, I'm going to color in that book as much as I can next year because it's going to be a book to finish. There's no way I could finish a Kirby book in a year. It'll probably be like a two-year endeavor, God willing. Um, but my goal is to really just focus on that new book once it comes out. So I'm trying to give my Mythomorphia a lot of love. <laughs> so let's see what pages are calling out to me. Um, this month for June and we're gonna go front um, to back because I'm gonna raise you guys a little bit now because I can sorry for anything in the background in the foreground all right 
So, I don't know if I want to do a double page spread because I'd rather do two pages instead. So, I could say I maybe want to tackle something like this, two pages that go together, but there's a lot of detail and I'm afraid I might get bored, like have my fill go to capacity on one style and not want to do the other. But I would like to maybe do one of these pages. So I'm going to flag this page. I colored this page previously. I followed, um, I think it was Chris Chang who colored it and it came out very well. Um, and I might want to replicate that again, but not this time. I'm really looking forward to coloring this page, um, but not now. I really want to color this page too. And I have a plan for this page and I've had a plan for this page since I got these, this book. I wanted to split it into the four seasons. I wanted to do, uh, make it into a, like a four boxes and I wanted to do winter, spring, summer, fall and I wanted a gradient and blend them together. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work. It didn't work out when I started in my other book but I'm gonna practice a little bit in my other copy I have which is really like my test copy now. Um, if it doesn't work out, I'm just gonna do that, you know, regular either fall colors or greens but not now. This page is buckling a little bit because I used um, watercolor on this when I colored this page. So I don't know, maybe I'll do this page just so that I can hide that up and get that done and balance it out, but I'm not sure. So we'll flag that. No, nothing else is really like popping at me. I do want to color this page. I really want to color this page actually, but see, it's really calling out to me. And I just, I, I don't want to do the double page because I want to do two pages. Cause like I said, I want to try and make as much progress as I can in this book right now. And if I do a double page, there's no way I'm doing an, an, another page. I don't know. I'm going to flag it only because, like I said, it's really calling out to me, but it's not what I want to do. I want to try and do something else. Um, I really love how this came out. I tried something different here, but it's done. Uh, I could always enhance it a little bit. It is sealed because it is an ink background, but, you know, I use the sealer where you can work over. So we'll see. I did have a little go a little heavy handed with my ink, so it was my fault. Um, this guy I do want to color, but I'm not in the mood to color armor and metal. I don't want to color her. I feel like I just colored a page similar to that. This is another page I'd like to color, but now another double page spread. And, oh, this is my favorite page in this book. My favorite page, and I'm just afraid to touch it. Okay, so the dragons, they were other ones that were calling out to me. But again, you know, so maybe I'll do that horsey page and then maybe I'll do a dragon page just to get two of these out of the way. And uh, I'm going to select this one then. And there's a lot of inspiration out there for me to grab off of, which I might do this time. I do like this page too. I know it's weird. Um... I don't know. See, like it's kind of calling out to me too now. Like, hey, do me, but I don't, I don't know if I want to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait on that one. It's another page I'm looking forward to doing. I'm just really trying to pick my inspiration. There's so much inspiration for this page and I've got so much saved in my print, on my Pinterest account. Uh, I'm just trying to decide how I want to go with it. I'm pulling inspiration from so many different colorings. I don't try to create something of my own, but it's just, it's one of those things where it's like overload on information. I actually colored this page in the other book and I was so happy with how it came out. I don't feel like replicating it right now. 
This is another page I'm looking forward to coloring. This page, I had a total mishap in the other book and I'm trying to figure out how I want to tackle it now going forward. I think I might put a moon in the background just so that there's like a little bit of a light source to reflect off these guys and maybe make these web sparkle and shine a little bit, but I don't really know if I want to get that creative in June. I think I just want to color. It's another one. I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. All right. So I think I'm good. Uh, I think one of those pages is going to be my inspiration page. This is my third page. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm mermaid out. Okay, all right. So it's going to be either, and I'll just show you guys again so you can see. We're either going to, I'm going to either be coloring this dragon. So my goal for June is going to be two pages. We're going to try that dragon. All right. Or maybe a double page spread, but I really rather not. I want to do two pages instead. Maybe this page, or maybe this page. So where I'm leaning most towards right now, where I'm at an 80-20, I'm 80% sure I want to do the horse and the dragon, and 20% sure about the double page, well, 10% sure about the double page, and 10% about the rabbit. So we'll see. So that's where I'm going with this one for June. And what I wanted to go run and grab was my Disney sticker book. So um, this is my mandala book, and this is where I do my um, June hashtags. So Disney Meg already posted on her channel, which if you haven't checked out, you really should. She's great. She does so many fun things on her channel. Um, she picked the Minnie Mouse. So what she does is she picks a Disney character. Every month it's called uh, Meg's Disney Mandala Challenge. I don't know. I'll try and put it across the screen. If it's not across the screen, it will be in the description box so you guys have the exact name of her hashtag. And basically she picks a hashtag. Oh, she picks a hashtag. She picks a Disney character and then you just color. You find an image of that Disney character and you just color the mandala to those colors. So she picked um, Minnie Mouse for... She picked Minnie Mouse for June. So now I have this sticker book, which also got the idea off of her, uh, her page. I purchased this on Amazon. This is the sticker book. And now I'm just going to find Minnie Mouse because this is where I get my inspiration from. But you guys can get your inspiration from however you wish. Check out her page. She gives you tons of fun ideas on how to go about that and what to do. So I'm not going to go into that. But I figured we'd pick out the mini that I want to color for her challenge. If I could find it. And her challenge and Amanda Colors does a challenge. And Jamie's Coloring Love does a challenge. And it really is a lot of fun. So I will put all of their, page, their um, Instagram hashtags and Instagram accounts in the description box. So you guys can go check them out. And you guys can see if you would like to participate and check out all the other fun stuff that they all have going on on their channels. You know, I should have went front to back because I have a feeling she's going to be in the very front of the book. All right, so here's some images. So, all right, let's see. Now, I feel like I did a red, black, and gold image already. I feel like it may have been similar to... Oh, okay. I didn't. Alright, so I'm thinking, because I think I want to use a metallic gel pen or a glitter gel pen. So I think I'm going to choose this Minnie Mouse with the red, black, and gold. And I just need to pick out which mandala I want to use for that because I don't pick a page out until I, I see what their what characters or color palettes um, the three of these um, colors choose and then I base it off that. So which one do I want to do? The black, red, and gold. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
because once I stick the sticker down on the page, that is it. That is the one I'm doing. I don't mess around with this book. Um, Oh my goodness, the pressure. This one, I'm gonna do this one. Oops, oh my goodness, I just shifted the whole camera. Sorry about that, my friends. Okay. And I'm going to take my sticker And what I do is I put it right here. So we're gonna put it right here. I know it's sideways and that is gonna bother me, but that's where I'm putting it right now. Okay. And that is the page I have selected for Disney Meg's challenge. Thanks, Meg. <laughs> she brought life, her, Amanda, and Jamie's coloring love, they actually brought life back to my coloring. Um, um, mandals because I never really did I never really liked it um, and now I I do so I want to thank them the three of them for making it fun again for me all right. I restuck it <laughs> okay all right that's that and now I'm just waiting for the other two ladies to put theirs up all right portrait of a mermaid I, 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 don't really know how I feel about this book for June. I'm kind of getting to capacity with it because I'm not a fan of the backgrounds or the paper. But I am going to try and color a page in June. I'm not going to definitely... I've been... Goal was one page a month for 2024, but I might take a break. Um, yeah, I don't know. I base some of the skin. Let's just see if something's calling out to me. This is my buddy color with Christina for May. No, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. No. Maybe. Maybe this one. She's got a simpler hairdo. These swirly whirly hairs are annoying me in here. Uh, that one's just got a lot going on. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. don't want to do that. Uh, maybe. All right, we're going to leave it at that. It's not really calling out to me. The only reason I'm selecting it is because I'm tired of these swirly hairs. I, I really just like coloring this better. So if I do want to stick with my goal for one a month, I'm going to try and color this page. But I can tell you right now, I think I might take a break in June. I think I need a break from that book. All right, next up is my Tenderful Enchantments. This is the Clara Markova book I have chose to focus on for 2024, and I would like to color a page a month, and I have been pretty much on track. I did select this page for uh, May and didn't do it, went a different way. If you watch my completing page video, you know I did a different mermaid page. But now I need to pick out a page for June. So let's see, I'm gonna just do an easy flip. So they're single-sided, which is a little image on the other page, which... I'm not really worried about um, as far as if I want to use an alcohol marker, I'm going to use it. I'm just trying to think if something here is calling out to me a little bit more than another. This page keeps calling out to me. So I'm going to flag it and I'm going to see if I can just pull the trigger and do it because I keep looking at it and yeah, you know what? I'm going to try and do that page. 
I'm not gonna even look at nothing else. I'm going to try. I've been looking at this page here and there off for the last three months. I'm gonna try and color this page. And that's Tenderful Enchantments by Clara Markova. Here's another one of my project books. This is the teddy bear book. Uh, I have to seal my page, that's why I have this here. Um, and again, one page a month in here. <clears throat> Just trying. Oh, you guys can see both pages. Okay. And I really like these books by Diane DeFore. This one's kind of cute. I'm gonna flag this page because it's kind of like the summer with the pool, maybe. Maybe the dolphin page. I don't know why, I'm, but maybe. Right, I'm going to leave it at that. And we'll see. Yeah, let's leave it at that. So it's going to be the dolphin page. <clears throat> or the pool page. And I had a page flagged in here, I guess one that I thought I was gonna maybe do and I didn't. So we're just gonna get rid of that because I don't want to confuse myself. All right. And that is in Diane DeFore's uh, The Teddy Bear Book. Um, another project book. This is a big project book. This has to be completed in 2024 and I am not gonna accept anything less from myself. So I did base some pages so I to give myself a push for June. So I am going to try and color this page. Oh, my voice just squeaked. <laughs> and I'll show you the other page, this page. So these are my two pages that I would like to color in um, Reptiloids 2 by uh, Vessel Psycho or Seiko. This page and this page. So that helped me out. And I may even go through and base a ton more of those reptiles. Because then once I get that base, I feel like when I open the book, now I'm, I, I'm just going to work around that color. And it kind of takes away a little bit of the thought process in my head because I kind of got to base everything off the reptiles. But if I decide I'm sitting at my desk, I'm just going to start color in them and figure it out from there. It gives myself a push. All right, these guys have to go back in. These were from uh, May. So I don't have a lot of pages left in this book. So um, I apologize if there's a glare. I have the PDF version and I do have them in a little by a uh, pocket protector book. So we have to pick out two pages for June. So there's um, Jamie's Coloring Love does her portrait year of color where she picks like a color theme and Nerma coloring. I believe she does the same. So I'm kind of waiting to see what they pick for June. Um, but I'm going to, I'd like to color this page. So I'm going to hold that to the side. I'm going to put this one back in. And then I would like to color, see, I don't have a lot of pages left. I'm going to attempt to color this one because I need to get it off my plate. So these are the two pages I'm going to be coloring in June. And I'm just going to wait to see about those hashtags, see what comes through um, as far as hair and eyes or lips and all that stuff, and then try and um, color around that. Now, because I'm kind of got more specific, oh, because I have more specific pages now, because like, you know, it's, it's dwindling down to my last pages in this book, I might not follow along with those hashtags when coloring on these pages. I'm gonna have to play it by ear and see. But again, this is from Hannah Lynn's Fierce and Fancy Faces. So yeah, it's gonna be the uh, Mushroom Fairy or the wolf. So yeah. 
and we're kind of at the end of the wire now. I got one book to show you in a PDF. Having a lot of fun in Mythographic Menagerie and I would, Menagerie, and I would like to continue in it. This one is by Fabiana Atanasio. I did start this whip and I would like to finish it. So I'm gonna focus on finishing this whip for June. I'm gonna put my heart and soul into the Magical Earth one and then just, since most of this is done, try and finish up this whip. So that's um, Mythographic Menagerie. And then I have a couple PDFs that, you know, I put in my rotation every month and I haven't colored in them. It's my ongoing whip my, from Mariola Budex. And it's Amanda Jung's Freak page that I never got to. It is last month's Tropagoth, hosted by Christine Art Corner that I did not get to. And I'm gonna see which one she picks or is picked for uh, June. And then it is the Gnome Garden Gnome Coloring Book by Mariola as well. And I just need to pick out the page. I had picked out this page for May and never colored in it. So I don't know. I'm not going to pick a page. I'm just going to see where the month takes me and what I'm feeling. This one keeps, I keep looking at this one for now. So I might want to color her. So we'll put her at the head of the class. Um, this is just a binder sheet. This, this is also by Mariola. Um, I have picked these guys out as well. This one is beautiful. Um, I don't really know how many of hers I'm going to get to, but I'm keeping them all in this book here, and I'm going to decide. I just need to separate the fairies and the gnomes. I'm going to use this pink. I don't like the color pink, but, and this is like so bright, but all right, it's going to do the trick. All right. So guys, that is it for my coloring plan video. Um, please remember to check out the description for the um, other colorist Instagrams who are doing these wonderful color alongs. The information will be listed there. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just pop them in the comments. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, most of these books were purchased off of Amazon. A couple of them were purchased on Etsy. Um, I can't list them all in the description. I'll probably forget, but if you do have any questions on any of these books that you've seen, just ask. I know Clara Markova, she's on in, on Etsy. Uh, it takes a while to get to you guys, to get to you. So, you know, you can check her out. And I believe she's got a book coming out at the end of the year. This is the sticker book. I purchased this off of Amazon. This is super fun. And if you have little kids who like Disney or you yourself are a big kid who likes Disney, this is a really cute sticker book if you're interested in that kind of stuff. And this was purchased off of Amazon as well. Um, just trying to make organization. The Jasmine Beckett Griffith books, they were purchased on Amazon. And Mr. Gart Mirrors was purchased off of her Etsy shop. Um, the Denise Klett book was purchased off of Amazon. I'm just looking at all my stuff here just to see. Coloring with your octopus off of Amazon. Magic Jars, this was purchased from Coloring Heaven's website, but Cafe, Coloring Book Cafe does have the other version. Um, and I believe that is on Amazon. And that is pretty much it. Um, as far as like the odd books, um, Coloring with your octopus off of Amazon. Kirby off of Amazon, but this is the English version. Um, there are two publications and I find that the one in the red, it does hold up better than the one in the yellow. Um, but either or you can find them on Amazon. This one may take a little bit longer to get to you. Um, and yeah, so that's it guys. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for spending time with me today. I apologize for any glare and shadows. And again, please remember to like and subscribe as it does help my little channel. Um, and again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I can't wait to see what everybody colors in the month of June. Have a great night or day, guys.